If you are alone, be careful watching this video, because that means there's nobody nearby to hear your screams. Number 5. This strange sighting looks like an oversized bird of prey from far away. Make no mistake, this is no bird. Moments ago, this creature with long wings was sighted scaling the dome of a cathedral in Mexico. The demon-like creature looks over its shoulder and sees it's been caught on camera, but it doesn't much care. It flies up to the top and extends its wings before taking off. This video has gone viral in the Spanish-speaking community, so I figured I would give my analysis. Some people are saying that this is a bat, while others are saying this is a demon sighting given its location with the cathedral. But I wanted to clear up the confusion and say this is from a CGI artist named Fernando Loga. Now, if you see this anywhere else on the web since it's spreading like crazy, now you know what actually happened here. Number 4. There's a strange roadside mystery in Cincinnati, Ohio that's been creeping out residents ever since the 1940s. It's called the Oxford Light, and if you drive to a place where Milford Road and Earhart Road intersect and flash your headlights three times, you'll be sure to see it for yourself. Edward Kramer is one of the many videos on YouTube proving this trick really works. There it is, there it is. Oh. Look, look at that, look at that. Darn it, they're not gonna stay up. Look at that, look at it, look at that. Oh, look at, look at that, man. What, oh, that's, see, that's just a car there. See, that's a car, I see that's yellow, that's a car. Wait a minute, what is that? What is that? Make no mistake about it, there's no street lights out here and no oncoming traffic, just the Oxford light in action. His experience, while strange, is like all of the others, and that's why I think it's real. Now look, there it is already. See, there it is, it's way out in the distance. How long that Another YouTuber named t sherm one is in a car full of friends when they see it for themselves. At first, they argue that it could be car headlights, but soon it becomes clear that this is a solid ball of bright white light that's growing brighter but not necessarily getting closer over time. They lose track of it over a hill, and when they come back up... Here, we're gonna sit at the uh, stop no, sign. We're, we're gonna go figure out what this guy's doing. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, oh we're God. going. <laughs> go. Let's look, let's look, let's look, go. They are expecting to see a car, but are instead surprised to find the strange light has disappeared. This is what it looks like moments before disappearing. Not even a locomotive has lights this bright, let alone a normal car. I would add that there is some stop signs that reflect light, but that's not it because they don't look nearly as bright. According to legend, this is where a man once lost his life on a motorcycle or a tractor. Depending on which version you believe, all I know is that in the comments of both videos are people who say they have been doing the exact same thing for years and that it works every single time. The Oxford light always seems to appear without fail and is here to stay. All of the locals know of it, and yet nobody truly understands why. Number 3. A squad of ghost hunting explorers called Knox Paranormal based out of Knoxville, Tennessee, takes their investigation skills to test at a famous local saloon called Patrick Sullivan's. Built in the 1800s, the building has acquired a haunted reputation over the centuries. After ghostly apparitions and scary voices were heard after hours, especially on the top floor, employees have even reported being grabbed. Objects will move on their own here all of the time, so the first step of the paranormal investigation is to bait the ghost into moving an object by tempting it with a nice hefty glass to push it over. They surround the glass with powder so that they will be able to, in theory, record any traces of ghostly handprints left behind as paranormal evidence. They bang on the bar to show that the glass won't move from vibrations and make it a point not to go near the glass for the rest of the investigation. It ain't going nowhere. Next, they turn all of the lights out and try to stay as quiet as possible in hopes that the ghost will feel safe enough to come out. Nothing happens for a couple of hours and then... What's that? That was not us at all. I'm standing right here. A loud bang from the attic happens at 2.30 in the morning. Knox Paranormal swears it wasn't them, but I noticed two ghost hunters were already up there at the time, so maybe it was them after all. 
and then just when they're about to climb down. They hear another loud banging noise in the attic and claim to see something move. Now, why these ghost hunters were exploring up in the attic without a camera is beyond me, but for some reason they don't think to take the camera with them, which is suspicious, and as a result they don't catch the ghost sighting on video, just the noise. They return to the counter and find the glass is gone, but the powder is intact. They find broken glass all over the bar and reason that the lack of fingerprints means it had to have been a ghost, though I suspect one of them could have just as easily knocked it over themselves. For some reason, they did not have a camera trained on it to see what really happened, so I was thinking this paranormal investigation was probably fake, until the next day when they played back some EVPs that were taken in the attic where they heard the noise. The owner is surprised to hear a familiar name, Adrian. That's creepy. A little girl ghost is asking excitedly about Adrian, the name of an employee who used to work there. There's no way that Knox Paranormal could have known this information, so either they were tipped off and edited the video, or else this is a real EVP of a ghost asking for the whereabouts of a former employee. Number 2 Point Lookout State Park in Maryland has everything from haunted prisons to large cemeteries. All historically preserved but otherwise, seldomly visited and practically abandoned. This is one of the most haunted places in the world if you ask a YouTuber named Fixed Image, a man who comes here to try and communicate with spirits quite often. This place has always given him a paranormal feeling that he has trouble putting into words. Usually he does little more than scare himself in the woods, but July 31st of 2018 is the day he makes clear and deliberate contact with the other side. He faces the Cheapskate Bay on a cloudy day and tries to force a ghost sighting on camera like always. I'm alive. I'm a human. Speak now into this device when I'm silent, if you haven't already said anything. So I know you're here. So when I come back here next time, I can help you. 5 minutes and 11 seconds is when he notices something strange and unusual behind him. He knows this area quite well by now and knows that cabins are not open to the public and should be latched shut. It's a little creepy to be honest. Today one of the doors is open, possibly because of what he said. He wants to investigate further but a sense of paranoia grows with each step. He felt watched from this cabin last time he explored here. With the door now open, the terror he feels is twice as great. I just feel isolated, like anything that's in this area is right here watching me. Yeah, I'm not going in any of these places. I, I can't right now. He has an internal struggle with himself for two full minutes trying to find the courage needed to go to the cabin and take a look inside. He has conducted so many paranormal investigations here before, and now that something has finally happened, he finds himself too scared to get the paranormal evidence he needs to be taken seriously as a ghost hunter. But that's not how he wants to end this video. He knows he can't go out like that, so he takes a deep breath and marches back to a place that frightened him so badly before. This time the paranoia returns twice as strong and he is struck by a heaviness in the limbs as if the very presence of something dreadful is weighing him down. That's when I just, I feel so heavy. And I feel like I have to look all around me every second. I feel like there's something behind me, and then when I look behind, there's something in front of me. The closer he gets to the building with the open door, the heavier his limbs feel. He is so off balance by the time he gets there that he worries he will not be able to run away. He is too afraid to even look in the direction of the cabin, but soon he is forced to. The doors are shut. The doors are shut. The doors are shut. I'm not even kidding. He puts a sound effect over the video, but you can still hear the door close by itself if you listen at 18 minutes and 53 seconds. Oh! Mm. Mm. 
Anyway, he feels normal again as soon as the door shuts and is able to sprint away. There's nobody in the parking lot and no sounds or signs of a cleaning crew inside. So I agree that a ghost could have slammed that door shut. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A YouTube couple named Bree and Dre are vlogging down the street when a stranger in a blue shirt gets behind them at 1 minute and 34 seconds. Dre doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary and everything looks normal to me too. But within 20 seconds of getting behind her, Bree sees the man has his phone out. It kind of looks like there's a small chance that he might be taking a photo or something because the camera is kind of pointed at her in a way that apparently makes her get creeped out. And as you guys can see, I'm kind of holding the camera a little weird. The man is smiling to himself a little bit too, although he could be texting someone and not worried about the two people in front of him at all. Still, Bree is visibly nervous about possibly being recorded, and she takes a hold of Dre's arm for comfort. She considers this a creepy encounter and later wonders if she was actually being followed. If he was following her, which I'm not saying he was for sure, then it's a good thing that things didn't escalate any further. Randonautica is an app where you think of something that you want to see, and this app will give you nearby GPS coordinates to find it, but sometimes they are way more scary than what you were ready for. 